Obviously, <laughs> uh, and, and, and whose role begins with the D. Um, we uh, one thing we we didn't do before, and we're kind of we, we, we're trying out is basically having kind of kind of like a news thing, basically, just give people an idea of what's been happening. If you're not actually working, in, if you're not living and breathing this stuff every single day, because we've got quite a mixed group of <coughs> group of, of possibilities, really. So this is kind of like a blog, but with people. So it's kind of like more of an analog blog. And it's also, we do it generally as people keep, keep, keep turning up. Um, the first thing to bear in mind, uh, kind of vaguely social, is that on the 7th, um, there's a social. So uh, if you can't get enough of actually us or each other in the pub, then uh, we're organising um, a bit of a social, a bit of a drink on the 7th. We, we're not entirely sure about the, uh, the actual venue just yet, but if you look on meetup.com, we'll actually have that available for you. Um, so I'm just going to actually talk briefly about what's actually happening in WordPress land. Um, WordPress 3.3 is, well, I was hoping it was going to be out today. Um, it's not quite out. It's basically the latest um, release of WordPress. Um, it's looking, it's, it's, quite, it's in the last kind of beta stages now, and it's, it's shaping up to look quite nice, actually. There's a few changes to it. Um, basically, it's, it's, it's quite a bit nicer to actually attach files and chuck things into now when you're actually working. So if you're like, say, creating, creating pages or posts, it's, it's becoming a lot more like an actual kind of native app using all kinds of fun HTML5 goodness, basically. Um, they've also done a lot of work on the admin section, so it runs a little, quite a bit faster now. Uh, so um, I'm sure anyone with a beard could tell you exactly how much faster it is in, 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 in the audience here. <laughs> beard. Yeah. Uh, possibly both later on. Uh, and the other thing they've done is um, they've actually made it work on more devices. So you don't necessarily have to have um, basically a desktop machine now. It's using something called responsive design, which is incredibly trendy, but basically it means that depending on what size you're actually, depending on what the actual device you're viewing it, it on, it'll actually kind of morph and change size, ch change accordingly. Um, that also carries through to the default theme as well, so every single person with a WordPress site now actually has a mobile site. So um, go you, basically. Everyone got for free. It's quite a nice uh, thing they've actually added to it. Um, the other thing that is probably worth actually being, uh, I think that's been happening recently is um, Akismet. They are the people who provide the actual anti-spam service, service for WordPress. They're doing something interesting at the moment. Um, they used to have um, an option, which um, a service which was basically free for people to use to kind of block people basically selling Viagra pills and things on your website via the, com via the comments and everything like that. And they're experimenting with um, basically making parts of it um, a paid service. I mean, it's already a paid service at the, at the moment, but if you actually work with WordPress, they're looking to do it looks like they're actually well, they're, they're doing experiments with having some kind of revenue share thing where that, although it, although by by charging for it, if you work with WordPress as either as someone selling it or building sites with it, there's essentially something like a referral scheme going, so they can actually make it more 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 financial more sustainable financially. Um, this is interesting because uh, you you find you're, you're seeing lots of people say, well, do we really need it or not? Uh, but it's a sharp sign of a lack in a maturing industry. Another thing to be aware of, um, this is actually kind of old now, but it's quite still worth being aware of. Uh, maybe about a month and a half, two months ago, there was um, a vulnerability, not in WordPress, but uh, in lots of themes that people use with WordPress when they buy, say, a premium theme or uh, basically a, very, a lot of popular themes. There was a thing called um, Tim Thumb, which basically resized and changed some sorts of changed images. Now, when the vulnerability was discovered, it, Basically, we, you, you'd find something like a million websites have been hacked by this, or essentially vulnerable to this. Um, WordPress have actually, because a lot, because a lot of sites actually are using these themes, uh, there's a really, really handy plugin which will basically check, let you see if you're running any sites yourself, and just make sure you're safe. Really, uh, cube uh, kind of safe check basically. That's kind of what we are actually. That's the thing to kind of be aware of here. It's you're probably fine if you're updating your your, your, your site a lot, but it's probably worth saying as well because it doesn't actually cost that too much to tell people about it. Okay. Um, the other thing, if you do work with WordPress, and so just quick show of hands, anyone using more than one WordPress site here? Okay. So um, keep your hand up if you actually really enjoy up, up, updating every single one of them one by one by one. Yeah, it's not much much fun. This looked this is really interesting actually. Manage WP was um, a service which is free for small numbers of sites. I mean, it's a paid service if you actually have more than, say, five or ten or anything like that. Anything like that. But 
It basically looks like it's going to solve, or it could solve one of the problems that we, that a lot of us tend to have if we have to manage a number of sites. <laughs> and uh, they released, uh, I think they, 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 they launched only this week. And I figured if, well, there's a fair few of us using, the, using this stuff, it might be worth looking at. Um, also on that note, words for WP. So, I for one am guilty of having loads and loads of typos in uh, sites that I've built or worked with. Not when I was working at Headshift, of course. Uh, but, and I'm sure that um, other people here have actually had that same thing as well. Um, there's no affiliation we have with any of these services, by the way, I just should, should make it clear. Um, there's basically, a, this, this service here is actually providing copywriting specifically for WordPress. So the idea is, they'll maybe look at, say, the back, the back of your, um, the admin of your, the admin area of your site, or even the front, or the actual kind of consumer facing, or public facing part of your site, and just basically let you know whether, and give you some pointers that just kind of audit the entire site in terms of how, how accessible it is. Because in many cases, when you're working with a product or working with a site, you can get so close to it that you, 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 you can't see the wood for the trees. So it's really interesting to actually see something like this actually available now. Um, this is actually, these guys here, they are, they're a fairly small outfit and they're charging, I think, like $45 an hour, uh, which isn't massively uh, uh, cheap, but it looks like an interesting service. And to be honest, it's really interesting to actually see something that's actually even occurring. It's a sign of just how WordPress is starting to actually mature into an <coughs> actual commercial product. Um, the other thing on, on the actual kind of production, uh, ma making the production aspects of WordPress more interesting is this thing here. This is incredibly nerdy, but if you actually do work with code, this is this could be life-changing. Basically, <laughs> basically um, there's one thing, um, another very, very popular platform called Drupal uses is called uh, install profiles. Basically, if you're building a site, it gives you a set of kind of starter, a starter point. So you've got a series of plugins or themes or things like that that you'd be working with. Now, this is the kind of thing that lots of us are not doing from scratch every single time ourselves. So there looks like there's actually a plugin and there's actually a bit of a community being built around this to basically make, work, make working with WordPress uh, basically make this part where you actually have to run a site and you might have to have another version in say staging or production or you might have to actually work with clients and actually have a good head start. This looks really encouraging because it's actually, it looks like it will actually get, get rid of a lot of that stuff. So to begin with you have all the, half the plugins you actually need from the beginning without, without having to kind of go and download every single one, everything like that. It's, um, it's, it's worth looking at. That's kind of, I think that's pretty much it really. It was just actually stuff that's interesting out here. Um, I'm probably going to just st step aside now and let David talk about it. Uh, talk about WordPress and SEU, but um, SEO, not SEU. <laughs> but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for sitting through me talking at you for the last 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to be around uh, until, well, good for, well, for the rest of this and also in the pub, as well, well David, Emily, and Keith. Uh, nice to see you all again. Thanks. Okay, cheers. Thank you. presentation that I put together, or um, well, it's well, in that you can call it a presentation, um, it will be on the web the meetup site as well, so if you missed any of the links or the stuff I was barreling through, it will be up there as well, okay? Alright, Dave, thank you for me.